You chose the years 1962 to 1964. Tell us why you chose that time. Well, um, as I said, I wanted to honor this city and what it gave, gave America. So Motown, one of the threads I knew would be there from the beginning, started in 1959 with that legendary $800 loan that Barry Gordy got from his siblings and parents uh, who had a, a, a fund that they, they used to help each other. Um, so 1959 to when it left, you know, in the early 70s. So that narrowed the period somewhat. I wanted it to be early Motown because of the energy of that, that time. Um, I wanted civil rights, and so that brought in the famous Walk to Freedom in 1963. I wanted the automobile that I would write about to be the Mustang. Uh, it was being conceived in many different ways in 62 and 63, and then was unveiled at the World's Fair in 1964. Um, and then, so I, and I wanted it to start with the threads moving along. So the book begins with the, motor, the first Motortown Review leaving Detroit in October of 1962 with this incredible busload of talent, you know, with little Stevie Wonder and Marvin Gaye and Mary Wells and Smokey Robinson and the Miracles and Martha and the Vandellas and the Supremes just being sort of the warm-up act. They weren't even making it yet. Um, so that starts in October of 62, the same week that the Detroit Auto Show of 1962 introduces the 63 models. So there's the beginning of my book. Where do I end it? I chose uh, May of 64 because that's when President Johnson comes to Detroit and declares it the Herald of Hope and then goes to uh, Ann Arbor and delivers the Great Society Address. So it's a very wistful moment. Uh, through this uh, sort of incandescent period, because we all know what's to come, but the people who lived it didn't. <laughs>